In the previous lecture, we obtained input and output impedances using RE model for common ammeter fixed bias configuration and in this lecture we will find out current gain, voltage gain, overall current gain and overall voltage gain. We obtained this circuit from common ammeter fixed bias configuration by first obtaining the AC equivalent circuit and then replacing the transistor with its equivalent model and the equivalent model is RE model of transistor and after that we calculated ZI the input impedance which is equal to resistance RB this resistance connected in parallel with this resistance beta plus 1 RE and if resistance RB is greater than or equal to 10 times beta plus 1 RE the input impedance is equal to resistance RB and the output impedance is equal to resistance RO connected in parallel with resistance RC so ZO is equal to RO connected in parallel with RC RO is a large resistance and if RO is greater than or equal to 10 times RC we can neglect RO so the output impedance is equal to resistance RC now we will find out the current gain current gain current gain is represented by A subscript I and the current gain is defined as ratio of output current to the input current so A I is equal to output current by input current we will first find out output current output current is the current flowing through the load resistance and in order to find out output current we will use current divider rule we will use current divider rule current is divided when two or more resistances are connected in parallel and voltage is divided when two or more resistances are connected in series so let's take one simple case in which two resistances are connected in parallel this resistance is R1 and this resistance is R2 the total current is let's say I and this current is divided into two currents I1 the current flowing through this resistance and the second current is I2 the current flowing through resistance R2 and let's say we want to find out current I2 then by current divider rule current I2 is equal to total current I multiplied with the other resistance we are finding out the current through resistance R2 so we will multiply the total current with the other resistance the other resistance is R1 divided by R1 plus R2 in the same way current I1 current I1 is equal to total current multiplied with the other resistance other resistance is now R2 divided by R1 plus R2 you can easily prove this but in this lecture we will not prove it we will just use this current divider rule to find out output current IO in the output side you can see the resistance RO and RC are connected in parallel so we can have a single resistance in place of RO and RC and that resistance is equal to RO parallel RC we will have a single resistance which is equal to RO parallel RC if we compare the output side with this circuit we will find they are similar so we can apply current divider rule on the output side we need to calculate current IO which is the current through the load resistance total current is IC so current IO is equal to total current multiplied with the other resistance other resistance is RO parallel RC so we will multiply the collector current IC with RO parallel RC divided by RO parallel RC plus the load resistance so this is the expression of the output current and now we can easily find out 
the current gain a i is equal to i c and you can clearly see collector current i c is equal to beta times i b so we have beta times i b multiplied with r o parallel r c divided by r o parallel r c plus r l divided by the input current i b the base current is equal to total current total current is the input current multiplied with the other resistance which is r b divided by r b plus beta plus 1 r e we have again applied the current divider rule on the input side i b is the current flowing through beta plus 1 r e and we have to calculate i b by using the current divider rule so base current is equal to total current total current is the input current multiplied with the other resistance which is r b divided by r b plus beta plus 1 r e we will put this in expression of current gain so a i is equal to beta inside the bracket input current i i multiplied with resistance r b divided by r b plus beta plus 1 resistance r e multiplied with r o in parallel with r c divided by r o in parallel with r c plus the load resistance r l divided by the input current i i the input current will cancel out so we will remove the input current from the expression and this is the final expression of the current gain a subscript i now we will analyze the expression of current gain for various cases in the first case let's say resistance r o in case number 1 resistance r o is greater than or equal to 10 times the resistance r c so we have we have r o parallel r c equal to r c so the current gain a i is equal to beta inside the bracket r b divided by r b plus beta plus 1 r e the dynamic ammeter resistance inside the bracket we have resistance r c r o is neglected divided by r c plus r l so this is the result from case number 1 in case number 2 in case number 2 let's say resistance r b and resistance r c is equal to infinity this means r b and r c are not present so there is no fixed bias configuration and this makes resistance r o smaller than resistance r c so r o parallel r c is equal to r o the current gain a i is equal to beta inside the bracket r b divided by r b is infinity so it is much larger than beta plus 1 r e so we can neglect beta plus 1 r e and we have r b in the denominator inside the bracket resistance r o divided by r o this is r o plus the load resistance so finally we have the current gain equal to beta times r o by r o plus r l this is all for the current gain now we will find out overall current gain overall current gain it is represented by a subscript i s and it is equal to it is equal to ratio of output current to the source current and it is similar to the h parameter overall current gain it is equal to a i the current gain inside the bracket resistance rs divided by 
rs plus input impedance we have already derived this result in h parameters lecture so if you don't know how overall current gain is equal to current gain multiplied with rs divided by rs plus zi please watch h parameters lecture i will not find out voltage gain and overall voltage gain in this lecture because we are pushing the time so in the next lecture we will deal with voltage gain and overall voltage gain